sunshine and no rain. Let's hurry up and get everything done in the next hour. Woohoo! That's awesome. Made a stop here in Sandy, Oregon at the Ivy Bear Family Pizzeria. Uh, closed. Uh, it's actually used to be a, a staple in the community, the Ivy Bear. That's what's left of the Ivy Bear. He looks uh, a little undressed on the top there. I don't know, maybe the ivy stopped growing around here and they can't fill him in. You can see part of his hand right there and another arm right here with no ivy on it and the whole top half, I don't know. Maybe it's seasonal, no ivy isn't seasonal. I don't know, maybe it just hasn't grown back up since the last storm or something, maybe. Some pretty lily pads in there. Oh, and a koi. Hey buddy, oh you got a brother in there too, cool. So for sure, let's enjoy the weather. Let's get back on the road and head towards Portland. Well, I can't find gas in Washington State under like 3.89 a gallon, so 3.21 here. Oh, that's the cash price. It's 10 cents more for your card. It's baffling. It's one of the only places, like the Northwest is the only place that does that. Some, some places, that's not good. Have the uh, 35 cent charge per transaction. This one has 10 cents more per gallon if you use your card instead of cash. And in Oregon, they still uh, pump the gas for you. So, <laughs> not allowed to uh, pump our own gas in this state. I think New Jersey is the same way, or maybe they changed that. I'm not sure. Okay, 77 gallons and $240 later, <laughs> even at that cheap price for gas, uh, still hurts in this rig, but now we're good. 606 miles till empty. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we'll be driving around with Oregon gas in Washington for the next few weeks. Sounds good. And actually, I got to talking with the, I don't actually know what his job title is, a pump attendant, a gas pumper. I don't know exactly. But they recently passed a law here in Oregon that you can pump your own gas in Oregon cities that have populations under 20,000. Seems backwards, but all of the small towns, basically, yeah. You can pump your own gas in Oregon now legally if you want to, or you can have them do it, I guess. That's a big dip. That's a really big dip. I'm gonna go way off to the right, and then I'm gonna cut across it like this. Please don't scratch. And we're good, didn't hear anything. Didn't feel anything. All right, let's get on the road and head west. Had to make a stop here. Anyone ever seen the Netflix show Everything sucks. It uh, takes place in this city of Boring, Oregon. Boring! Welcome to Boring, paired with Dole, Scotland. Boring, Oregon and Dole, Scotland, a pair for the ages. So August 9th is the Boring and Dole Day. Okay, that's pretty cool. I guess you gotta be well known for something. I kinda embarrassed to even say this. I stopped at four different stores looking for a magnet that says boring on it. Finally, the last place said, you're probably not going to find one until the actual festival in August. Well, how can you not embrace it year round, guys? You have to. Oh, well, I tried. Well, before we get into downtown Portland, I got a sweet tooth craving. Candy, basket, chocolates, factory outlet store. They might have some gummy bears in here. Let's go check it out. How about this? The world's largest chocolate cascading castle. 20 feet tall of chocolate falling. That looks delicious. Look at that. <laughs> wow. They got taffy everywhere. And they do have gummy bears. Bye-bye. Yeah, I decided to stock up on my gummy bears anyway. Sometimes hard to find, I like them fresh. Got a little rainbow assortment of uh, deliciousness gummy bears. And they had some clearance stuff. S'more flavored candy corn. And they had some test ones at the counter. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll try it. Like, Whoa, it tastes like a s'more. I got a couple bags of s'more candy corn. Cool place. Also, Jax is not feeling well today. He's been staying up here in, uh, in front of the front passenger seat. Uh, he puked four times this morning. Poor little guy. 
He puked three times after his dry food, and then he was hungry and crying. I gave him his canned food, and within 60 seconds of eating, that went up on the floor, too. So We're only going to drive a little bit farther today, okay, Jax? Hang in there, buddy, okay? All right, poor little guy. Lick your wounds, okay. Okay, kind of a strange sight here off the road. It's like a huge jug. And I'm not sure if they used to fill jugs here or make jugs here, but now it's a dancer's... <laughs> now it's a nudie bar. Oh, so there's still jugs. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Well, the uh, slide's still holding up good. Hasn't come back out, so. And this is about as far as I want to venture into downtown Portland. I'm thankful I did find a spot, but I won't be here long because as you walk to the sidewalk, it looks like every single car has got their windows smashed out. Down there, right there, right there. Like, what is going on? Yeah, so let's make this quick. There's one thing I want to see up here on the corner, though. Okay, pardon me. We're actually not in Portland yet. We're in the city of historic Kenton. And we have a huge Paul Bunyan statue out here. I'm not going to categorize this one as the ninth Paul Bunyan I found, because those were all muffler men. This one's different and unique, for sure. Little plaque says, 1959 has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places. Yeah. That's a big Paul Bunyan there. And there's also a plaque here, a linking Paul Bunyan to Portland, Oregon's or Oregon's timber industry. That makes sense? I mean, I know mostly we think of like Fargo, Minnesota, North Dakota, those places, but, but no, I mean, uh, Portland has the Portland Timbers, the, the soccer team. Yeah. So since Jax isn't feeling good, I don't want to do a whole lot more driving, but I got to get into Washington State where there's a Thousand Trails Resort. For camping because none of the Walmarts around here allow overnight parking so I do have to put on about 30 more miles but I'll let you know when we get parked and we'll check back in with Jax and see how he's doing too Ooh, kind of worried about the little guy yeah Meow. you feeling better Meow. you want to try some food Meow. the kibble kind Meow. you want to try it see if you can hold it down Meow. all right Meow. little buddy Meow. little tiny kitty easy 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 Hey, okay, it's okay. Keep an eye on my little man there. So, this is a nice little Thousand Trails campground in Chehalis, Washington, celebrating 50 years. I am in the very first established ever Thousand Trails campground in Chehalis, Washington. That is uh, where Thousand Trails was founded, started, mm. So this is the very first one ever created. And I'm in a new site here in the D-Loop. They just put some fresh gravel here. I got level okay. Obviously a used picnic table. I can see my neighbors, but we're not terribly close. I have green mossy trees all around here, which I love. Look at this. So soft. Yeah, not bad. I mean, it's not full hookups. I do have water and 30 amp there. And I think you got an outdoor pool right there. I was gonna tell you guys that uh, indoor hot tub that was at the last place, last video. Yeah, I went back several times that day. Three more times at night, actually. Uh, how do we get in? Country store is closed. They're closed Tuesdays and Wednesdays. That's strange, okay. They do have some seasoned firewood. Those are tiny bundles for six bucks though. I'll think about it. And then this is the pool. Guaranteed, this is the biggest pool out of any thousand trails I've been to in Florida, Texas, all the way up here to Washington. This is the biggest pool. Is it heated though? I think the earlier rains and the future rains are probably keeping people out right now. It is heated. No kidding. That is awesome. They also have a hot tub, but it's at the other end. Um, I think I'm going to utilize the pool. You can see my RV down there, so I'm pretty close. If it were the summertime and like kids were out of school, 
no way would I park an RV anywhere near a, a pool or a playground, but this time of year, still uh, kind of have it to yourself. So anyway, guys, I'm going to relax a couple days. I'll get back with you very soon here, y'all. Take care. Bye-bye.